Hello student, welcome to uh, this uh, chapter of lattice dynamics. And now in this uh, in this session, we are going to study is uh, study the what are the phase velocity of a wave train, or what is the meaning of uh, the phase velocity of a wave. So the phase velocity of a wave is the time's rate of advance of uh, a point of constant phase along the direction of propagation of the wave. You can look at this diagram. A wave is there. Uh, the point of constant phase means uh, this one, for example, this one. Actually, it is the point of zero phase, but the phase will be constant here. So this point, with what velocity it is moving, that is the velocity of a wave and that is called as a phase velocity this one so to determine the phase velocity let us choose for convenience the point uh, of constant phase to be the point of zero phase so uh, for convenience i have chosen this point because this is the point of zero phase uh, then uh, the phase term in the wave equation becomes uh, omega t uh, minus kx equals zero. Or uh, you take kx to other side, it becomes omega t is equal to kx, or it is uh, x is equal to omega or k into t, or this is written as a vp into t. So this, uh, uh, where, uh, uh, where this uh, vp, Vp is equal to omega over k is called as the phase velocity in terms of expression. And it depends upon the physical constants uh, C and rho. And C means, well, uh, actually C it is, the, it is uh, uh, the elastic constant of the medium. And rho is the density of the medium associated with the elastic medium. Then from dispersion relation yet in the last class, I have derived the dispersion relation for uh, this continuous medium. So from that equation, we are writing Vp. Vp is equal to omega over k and omega over k is equal to root of c by rho. So you, uh, you are you write this equation as uh, vp square means vp equals root of c by rho now and uh, squaring on both side you know, this gives vp square is equal to c by rho or 1 by vp square is equal to rho by c so, so this uh, will be reversed inverted so it becomes 1 by vp square is equal to rho by c substituting this into the wave equation we get. So this is the wave equation, which is derived in the last class. So here, uh, rho by c is there. In that place, we have to put uh, 1 by vp square, 1 by vp square. So this uh, equation of uh, uh, the wave equation becomes uh, dou square u by dou x square is equal to 1 by vp square into dou square u by dou t square. So this is the wave equation in terms of uh, phase velocity. Next, we will see what is the group velocity of the wave trains. So consider the two waves uh, given by, it is not a wave, waves. Consider two waves given by u1 is equal to a cos omega t minus kx and u2 is equal to a cos omega plus d omega into t minus k plus dk into x. So these are the two waves. These are the two waves which are differing slightly in frequency and wave vector, but having the same amplitude. That kind of waves. So here frequency means omega. So this omega, it is it, this wave is having frequency omega, but this is having frequency omega plus d omega. Slight difference is there in terms of frequency. And in terms of wave vector also, this k is there and this is k plus dk. 
So slight difference is there in the frequency and wave vector, but amplitude is same because A, this A represents the amplitude in both the cases. So here also it is A and here also it is A. So the amplitude is constant. So that kind of equations or uh, that kind of waves are taken here. When these two waves are superimposed uh, one over the another, we get uh, uh, the superimposed wave and that is given by u is equal to u1 plus u2 and we have to add up uh, these two, these u1 and u2 and we'll end by applying some trigonometric formula uh, that can be simplified and after simplification it becomes like this. It is 2a cos of 1 by 2t d omega minus 1 by 2x dk. Uh, in multiplied by cos of omega t minus kx. So this equation represents uh, a wave characterized by the original values of omega and k multiplied by a sinusoidal wave of much longer wavelength 2 pi by dk. So here two waves are there. This is the one wave. This is the second wave. So this is the original wave with the uh, original values of omega and k. This is multiplied by another wave of a very big wavelength, uh, which is given by 2 pi by dk. And this uh, is called as an analog of beats. So that is shown here. You look at this diagram, the resultant wave means u, the resultant wave after superimposition of the two waves uh, leads to this kind of structure or formation. So individual waves are grouped uh, in or they are covered by these analogs. And uh, uh, the wavelength of this new kind of wave is given by 2 pi y by dk. So it is much bigger than the wavelength 2 pi by k of these individual waves. So the velocity of this envelope is called as a group velocity. So with what velocity this, wave, this envelope, this is one envelope, this is another envelope, this is another envelope. Uh, sometimes it is also called as a beat. So with what velocity this envelope is, uh, is moving, is called as the group velocity. So to determine the group velocity of the analog, uh, we, we choose again the point of zero phase, just like uh, what we did in case of the phase velocity. Here also we are choosing a point of uh, zero phase, uh, then uh, uh, this becomes, this is the phase term of uh, the superimposed wave and this this phase term is zero and you take this uh, term to other side it becomes uh, x is equal to d omega by dk into t and uh, or uh, you write this as x is equal to vz into t that means uh, here we denoted uh, this vz equal to d omega by dk this is termed as a group velocity with which uh, an envelope or a group of waves uh, moves together. At a nodal point, no energy is transmitted as the medium is completely at rest. Nodal point means uh, this one. This is the nodal point. At the nodal point, uh, medium will be not vibrating. So energy is not transferred there. Thus, uh, the energy is transmitted along the wave with the velocity equal to the group uh, velocity and not the phase velocity, which is the velocity of an individual wave. So that means how then uh, once the no, no energy is transferred through the nodal uh, point, uh, then how energy is, trans is transmitted by this wave this, that means the whole wave itself moves ahead with some velocity, k 
carrying energy. So in this way, the energy is transferred by uh, this wave. Energy is transferred by this wave. So that is why the velocity of this envelopes is important in carrying the energy. So group velocity is important and not the phase velocity. Phase velocity is related to the velocity of the individual waves which are inside the envelope. Then uh, we know that already this phase velocity is equal to omega over k is equal to root of c by rho. This already we, we did it. And uh, here vz, vz just now we, we came to know that vz is equal to d omega by dk. And uh, from here only, from the equation of uh, Vp, if you are differentiating, it is d omega by dk is equal to uh, root of c over rho again, because the c and rho are independent omega and k, therefore there is no change, even though a slight change in uh, frequency and wave vector is there. So therefore this root of c by rho remains constant. Thus, Thus, uh, for elastic waves in a continuous medium, the phase velocity and group velocity are exactly same. So therefore, we say that uh, for uh, the elastic wave in a continuous medium, the phase velocity is equal to the group velocity. And also we'll see some uh, normal modes of vibration in a continuous medium of finite length. So here uh, we have taken a string, metallic string, which is uh, tied to rigid support at its, at its both ends. So this is the one end, x is equal to zero, referring to x is equal to zero. This is another end, x is equal to L. That means the length of the string is L. Then uh, the normal modes of vibrations in a homogeneous and continuous medium of finite length L, say a string, are given by the independent solution of the wave equation. So the independent solutions of this wave equation gives the normal modes of vibrations with the boundary conditions u x u of x is equal to zero and this is equal to u of x is equal to l. This u represents displacement here. So the, the, this is the displacement at left end of the string, and this is the displacement at the right end of the string. So this is the left end, and this is the right end. So here, since the string is bound on both sides, there's no displacement of the string. So therefore, this conditions arises. That means uh, displacement in both the ends is zero. So this is set equal to zero. The solution of one may be of, the, of this form. We assume that uh, the solution of this, equi this wave equations, wave equation is of this kind of this form. And here, if the string is fixed at both the ends, uh, boundary conditions given by equation two will be applied. So these are the boundary conditions given by equation two and apply the boundary conditions to this uh, solution three. And this u is zero in both of the cases. So zero is equal to a sine of zero sine omega t. It means first you are putting the x is equal to zero here. So it becomes a sine zero. This is equal to a sine of k l sine omega t. Here you are putting x is equal to l. So it becomes k k l. In both of the case it is zero. So therefore here sine of zero is there. This whole term sine of zero is zero. This whole term gets zero. So therefore this term means this term is equal to zero. So here uh, this uh, sine of k l this k cannot be zero here so therefore a into sine omega t is set equal to zero they these a into sine omega t are sent to other side so they go there goes to zero so therefore sine k l becomes equal to zero 
oh, sorry, uh, a into sine omega t, a into sine omega t cannot be zero. Uh, therefore, sine kl, this sine kl should be equal to zero. So that is set into zero. So sine kl is equal to zero, and this is equal to sine n phi. Means sine kl is equal to zero condition is satisfied by sine n phi, where n is a positive integer. And because you go on putting n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, this condition is satisfied. And uh, because, for example, when you put n is equal to 0, sin 0, sin 0, 0, and n is equal to 1, this becomes phi, sin phi. Sin phi means it is sin of 180 degree, and uh, that you have to split into two. Sin of uh, 180 means sin of 90 plus 90, and sin of 90 plus 90 is cos 90, cos 90 is 0. So, in this way, you can this equation is valid verified by uh, this uh, sign of n phi values so this simply this shows that this kl is kl equal to kl equal to 0 phi 2 phi 3 phi like that by putting 0 n is equal to 0 1 2 3 and we cannot take k is equal to 0 because it uh, corresponds to all the particles at rest so therefore first option is left and taking L to RHS, we write uh, uh, K equals, uh, you take this L to other side, this becomes K equals 5 by L, 2 5 by L, 3 5 by L, dash 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 N 5 by L. So thus, uh, all the wavelengths are not uh, allowed uh, even in the continuous medium. So, so this shows that the wave vector is also discrete in nature k is a wave vector it is also not having the continuous values but discrete values so thus so all the wavelengths are not allowed even in the continuous medium only discrete values of frequency corresponding to each value of k are allowed so this condition is uh, is plotted here so the normal modes of vibrations are plotted in this uh, a diagram first few allowed modes of vibrations are shown here so n is equal to one first the fundamental mode of vibration for which n is equal to one n is equal to one means this uh, dotted line a half cycle a half cycle is formed between the two ends of the string that means the whole length of the wire makes uh, simply a half cycle that is the case one and when n is equal to two this line n is equal to this another second dotted line this makes one complete wave two half cycle two half cycles are formed by the whole length of the string so that is n is equal to two and for n is equal to three now the string is making one and half wave so three half cycles are there so this three half cycles is equal to one and half wave so that is also formed so in this way we can uh, draw for other case also means for n is equal to four five all those things so this is about uh, uh, the phase velocity group velocity and the normal modes of vibrations of the elastic uh, a continuous medium and I will continue in the next class.